For more on retail, let's bring in Terry Lundgren. He's the former CEO of Macy's and Neiman Marcus. Currently is the founder and CEO of TJL Advisors. Terry, welcome to the NASDAQ market site. Welcome to the show. Happy to be here. Thanks, Melissa. Um, how do you think the consumer is going to spend uh, on some, you know, some level to some degree during even tough times? So as we enter this sort of period of sort of unknowns, how do you think the consumer spends? How should we be thinking about the retail landscape? Yeah, you've got to look at it in, in uh, by income level. So, so much of this conversation has been right is right on track as far as I'm concerned and that is the lower household income consumer is buying needs and and that's basically all that the paycheck is allowing at this point so they're 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 rotating out of discretionary that middle household income uh, consumer that consumer is trading down and so we're starting to see the benefits that will that will I think occur here in the in the months ahead and the quarters ahead for the off price, even the, even the, some of the mid-tier department stores may benefit from the trade down uh, for them. It may be possible some of these going out of business, these bankruptcies may benefit those. Um, and then the high-end consumer, they're, they still have they still have money. They're less affected, but they're trading into experiences. And so the airlines are full, the airports are full, the car rentals are you know sold out, and and you know the concerts are sold out. So so you know all of this is going to is going to impact goods and you know we had a really nice uptick during uh, during the covid period where the consumer started buying goods again um, and i think that's uh, that that's shifting back to to services and so i think it's going to be a challenging period here for many retailers in many categories over the next couple of quarters you've been in retail your entire career correct correct so you graduated from Arizona, way back when. That's right. Don't even mention it. Not too it, long yeah. ago. Just a few <laughs> years ago, yeah. Um, so you've navigated various periods. In your experience, when we're going through a period where there is a credit, you know, there's a credit tightening period to come, um, we're in a period of tightening rates, we're in a period of maybe a recession, maybe not. How do the consumers react? How, what have you found? Yeah, the, what, I, what I find is that c the consumer takes in all this news, and almost all the news that gets reported is bad news. You know, we, we, t we talked about earlier, I was uh, listening to the program, we're talking about store closings. And, and, you know, no one talks about store openings, but for the, for the last several years, there's been more stores opened than closed. Now, the big stores are closing, smaller stores are opening, but net-net, there's 800 more stores open this year than closed in uh, 2023. Mm -hmm. So the, what they're reading isn't that. They're reading the, all the bad news. And so that affects consumer confidence. And when consumers are feeling like there could be a recession around the corner, I might lose my job, my company might not perform well, they might start laying off. When they start thinking like that they pull in their spending. So Terry, you talked for a minute in the green room about the e-commerce evolution at, at uh, Macy's, but do you think that the sort of the push that the pandemic made on the e-commerce growth, has that plateaued? And what do you think is the long-term sort of what's the right stable amount of sales that will be those e-commerce sales yeah, less no, profitable? Yeah, it's a good question. We've been tracking this, and it was something that we thought might happen and, in fact, is playing out this way. Prior to, to uh, COVID, 16, 17, 18, 19, the online penetration as a percent to sales was growing between 100 and 150 basis points in penetration to, to total sales each year. And that was consistent. And then all of a sudden COVID hits. And we go from like 11.5 percent online uh, purchases to the total to 20, you know, because because hey, stores were closed by the government and because that's you no know, one was leaving home. So so it spiked. This last report was now that it's back to 14.7 percent. And if you do the math, it's basically back to where we were. It's back to the mean. So I, 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 I forecast that it'll be 16% a year from now, and then it'll be 17 or 17.5%. And that, that will continue to, to grow, but at, at not the pace that we saw during COVID. So to answer your question, I think it's, it's peaked to where, uh, to back to the mean. So we'll continue to see growth. And what that means is that it will affect uh, physical stores. And so getting that balance right of physical stores is really important. A lot of that has happened. Uh, um, even though there are new stores opening, they're mostly smaller formats or they're off price or they're, you know, uh, individual specialty stores, not the big uh, big box uh, format stores. Last quick question. What is in the Terry Lundgren portfolio when it comes to retail stocks? 
Well, I happen to like. Uh, first of all, I think Target did a good did a good job, and you all you all mentioned that, and you 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 uh, suggested that they they did a pretty good job. I think the most important thing was they got their inventory in line. Their inventory yeah. was out of line uh, the last couple of quarters. They got their inventory now. I give them credit for that. When you're doing that, however, it's hard to grow sales. Uh, so I, I I think they they put themselves in a good position. And I, and I actually like Walmart very much. You're going to hear from them tomorrow. I don't actually know what the numbers are, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if they, if they surprise a little bit on the positives upside because, you know, first of all, 50, 55 percent of their business is in food, grocery, and uh, they are the largest, you know, grocer in the, in the United States. And, and that obviously still is benefiting from inflation, and I think they'll, I think they'll, they'll perform well. Um, do you like Target and Walmart over Macy's in this environment? I love yeah. Macy's, and I will always right. love Macy's. It'll always, you know always be, uh, be the most important store in okay. Bloomingdale's, too, and Blue Mercury. That's also part of the portfolio. <laughs>